Hi, today I'm going to make a review on my Amazon Kindle Paperwhite. I'm a very avid reader, um, have used other Amazon devices, and I highly recommend the Kindle Paperwhite for someone that uh, wants to read and store many books without having to lug many books around. Um, very, very convenient. So to give you an idea how um, big that this device is, I just put a standard pen and you can see how small it is. It's obviously inside a case, but the actual Kindle is very small, but even with the case, it's very, very manageable. Uh, and of course provides protection, but you can use the Kindle with or without the case. Over here is where you charge it. Um, holds a lot of uh, energy. I rarely charge it, but it, of course it depends on how much brightness uh, you use on your Kindle. But we're going to talk about that. So I open up the Kindle and it's lit up. When you're done reading, you go ahead and shut it and you don't have to uh, go for, find an off button or anything like that. It automatically turns off. So when I open up the Kindle, it wakes up again or it turns on. So over here is an advertisement. Uh, you can get a Kindle with advertisements for lesser co cost, or you can get a Kindle without the advertisements, which will show a picture. So to get in it, you simply swipe, and you can get into your book. I happen to be uh, in a book, but no big deal. I'm going to show you how you can get home. Anytime that you want to get out of any screen that you're in, you hit the top and you hit the home button. Okay. So it's showing me all the books that are downloaded on my device. Here's the name that you register your Kindle with. You're showing that you're on Wi-Fi. Um, you can get 3G models uh, for more money, um, which will provide internet anywhere without uh, having a, an internet connection. Um, but it is showing me that I have a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, this is my current battery, battery life and the time of day. Home button will get you back to this screen at any time. Uh, settings will show me the brightness and um, the darkness of the device. We'll get into that when I get into a book. Uh, Goodreads um, and over here is filter and sort. Let's say I don't want to view my books as the titles themselves. I can go ahead to sort and view a list and view it this way. But for this purpose I want to go back to grid. Um, also under filter, let's say I don't want to view all my books, books including um, periodicals. Let's say I just want to view periodicals. So over here I have three periodicals or magazines and it's only showing me those periodicals. But let's say I'm done doing this and I just want to go back. I can go back to hitting home. So that's a fantastic key because it brings you right back to the start. Um, so let's just say I want to view uh, one of my periodicals. Just get out of there. This is just telling me about the periodical. But if I hit the actual periodical, it's showing me uh, the, the magazine. Now, I can change the page very easily. If I want to read, just bear with me with the camera to hold the book right. <laughs> I go ahead and hold it. I'm comfortably reading. There we go. We're in focus. And I can go ahead and just gently tap the right. Now, every now and again, it refreshes uh, the page. If you notice that it turns solid black, uh, I'll try it again. It's making the font crisp. Um, it's at 300 PPI and very, very readable. If I want to go back to a previous page, I simply hit the left button and I can go back uh, a previous page. It can show me 
of the percentage that I'm in in the book. Certainly down here would be the end of the periodical and what page I'm on. Go back home and I could show you a book. So that was a magazine. Let's say we go to uh, a book. Okay. Just gently hit the top. Go to settings just by tapping on it and you could see that the brightness for this is actually uh, the lowest that you can go. Maybe I would use that if I'm, you know, I guess next to a lamp or if I'm outside in the sun, certainly that would work. Uh, the brightest possible would be here, okay? Um, and, you know, you just do it to your preference, basically. Uh, you can go ahead and just hit anywhere and it will come out of it. But let's say you're reading and you're like, hmm, that's not very comfortable. You can go, go hit the top, go right back to settings, and adjust it to where you feel that it's good. So that's with the backlight on. And it does look very, very crisp. The um, font is very, very legible. Um, you can adjust the font and the font size to your uh, preference. You just hit the top again, you see all the menu, and you hit AA right there. That's showing you your font. You can do different themes if you want to, you know, have your spacing um, different. If you want your font different, go ahead and hit font. You can make it bold, and you can see it's automatically doing it. Uh, as you adjust it so you can see what you like the size of the font and the type of font so they show you actually the different fonts just by listing it uh, but you can certainly this is set on a uh, booklery but you can actually go to a different one and on top it'll it will show you okay so that's the smallest font size and certainly very very legible simply go up on top go to font whatever font you prefer you can go back and adjust the font size. I'll show you what it is to be very, very big. This is the largest. So, you know, again, it's what you prefer. Um, if you want to change the page, you go ahead and go to the right or go to the left, just like you did in the uh, with the periodical. So let's go back to, to font. Right there. Decrease the font to the size that you prefer, and you simply just tap where you want it to be, and it will show you. Let's just say I want it right there, and the backlight's okay. So now I can go ahead and read it. It shows me what location I'm in and how much percentage of the book. Another thing that uh, you can do is go to a certain point. Uh, let's say you uh, wanted to look up something in the book, you can hit go to and actually search uh, that word. Uh, I really love um, the dictionary because every now and again when you read, you find something that you're not really sure uh, what, th what that is. Um, we'll just, you know, for uh, example, we'll just pick something that to let it define. Let's just say we hold on to... You just got to tap it. It'll underline the word. Now you have an option to highlight that word, make a note, or share it um, with other people. But right here I have a dictionary open, and it's defining for me right inside the book what that actually means. And then to get out of it, you simply just tap anywhere. Um, so again, to define something, instead of just tapping it, as you can see, you're changing the page. 
If you do that, no big deal. You just go ahead to the left. But to get the dictionary, you want to hold it. And it will underline it, and you'll get a dictionary. So that I find a really cool feature. Um, another thing you can do if you want to find other books, you can go ahead and hit the store. Uh, and that's very easy to use right up here. Get this in focus. And it shows me books and categories. This is all on the Amazon website. Um, and you can just simply download it to your device of what your device is called um, that you registered in it. Let's just say I want to go back. Um, I don't want to be in the store anymore. You can go ahead and hit the home button. And it will bring you right back to where you are. So it's very, very simple. Um, very easy to read. Um, over here is actually uh, an advertisement, but I do find, uh, let's just say for example, I go into um, a book, the advertisement is not there. So when you're reading, you're not being um, distracted or, you know, bothered by uh, an advertisement. So I find that really, really good. If I hit, uh, now we're in font, but if I hit home, I can see that the advertisement is down below, but it's certainly not in the way. Um, you can go ahead and do what you want to do. Uh, let's just say on the home page that I want to view other books. You simply just tap Okay, so that was showing me uh, that I've read on other devices. So if you share um, Kindle devices, uh, let's say you have another Kindle um, that you're reading something um, and you're reading the same book, you can read the same book on another device. Um, the great thing is, let's say you pick up your other Kindle, you read a few chapters, and now you pick up this Kindle and prefer to read. Um, you can find your page just by hitting uh, OK from that screen. OK. So I'll go ahead and get out of that. And you can use the internet. There's a little uh, dots right up here. Go ahead and hit that and it gives you a whole bunch of things that you could hit. Um, you could do the Kindle store. It gives you an option up there called store or you can hit it under Kindle store. Um, you can make a reading list, make it under categories. Uh, Amazon free time, vocabulary builder for those who you know, want to build up their vocabulary. Um, uh, let's hit that for a second. Um, it'll give you um, a bunch of words and if there's something that you're unfamiliar with you could actually hit it. Um, and then right there it'll give you a dictionary and you can go ahead and you know read that and uh, just you know broaden your vocabulary. Uh, so let's just say I want to go back to that menu I go ahead up there. That's telling me, see the, how the three dots are different here than before? It's because I'm actually in the uh, vocabulary uh, setting. So it's telling me that I can find out about Vocabulary Builder. But if I want to go back, I could actually hit the back button there or the home button will bring me all the way back to the home page. So I can hit back and then I'm back here to the home page. So now I hit the three dots and here's what I wanted to view. Um, so Experimental Browser. That will give you the internet, whatever web page that you uh, type here, get this into focus, there we go. Um, you simply tap this and you can go ahead and it will open up a keyboard down below. Here, I'll show you that. And the keyboard opens up right onto the screen. Um, you do have to type in the HTTP Uh, let's see what we wrote so far. P. And you can see that there's other words up here. Um, it It's there to help you. You could just hit it and it will finish it off for you. It's giving you uh, ideas. But the point is you can go ahead and uh, type in your website. Um, 
and then you could just hit dot com and then whatever I type so it goes right up there and then you can hit uh, enter and it will now search for that website so one feature that I really love is I can't, I can't say enough about this backlight now yes you do um, manually uh, set it but to your preference but generally when you're reading and you set the um, preference you're good to go um, but it's very easy to uh, change what I love about it is when you're reading in the dark um, the light is great to read and it's very comfortable uh, but it won't wake up somebody that's next to you um, it's not going to produce that much light where it's going to wake up the other person um, and it's of course very quiet um, and easy to use um, to sh you know again to shut it for the day we we'll just go you know we can go home or you don't even have to it'll remember where you were um, you just go ahead and shut it or I could actually just leave it if I didn't do anything it'll actually power down as well um, but I could certainly just shut the case and it's off and that's it so that's all there is to my Kindle Paperwhite uh, I highly highly recommend it uh, both for price it is um, you know more expensive than the basic Kindle um, but the PPI uh, is very very uh, readable 300 PPI and to me for the price um, I, you can't go wrong um, so I do hope um, that this video helped somebody that wants to maybe buy an e-reader um, and know you know what my experience is with it um, and uh, you know any questions or comments that you may have or something that maybe I haven't mentioned uh, please comment below uh, and thank you for watching take care bye bye